Okay, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning, 20 after 6. Everything's closed. You know, they haven't opened yet. And I was talking about the uh, police presence in front of the Apple store. Now that's what I call deterrent, because apparently it's working. So, I had no idea. Today I learned that this car just kind of sits here. And now that I look at it even closer, it's kind of dirty. It's like it's a dummy car, but during the working hours of the day, business hours, there's a, there's a, there's a cop out here. Hence, why this thing right here is still here. All right, folks, let's uh, see if I can uh, get through this in one take. One take, Jake. Uh, I'm wearing these sunglasses inside because this 18-inch ring light up there, you can't see it. Man, this thing's as bright as the sun. It's way overkill, but it's cool. And it was free. So, uh, yeah, so product review, unboxing, and product review, unsolicited. So, uh, we came across this, uh, oh, also, doggy clothes. Because it's soggy doggy right here, teeny weeny. Also known as soggy doggy. And when she's wearing her different outfits, she has different names, like froggy doggy. Anyways, let's get started here. All right, so if you guys have seen a company online called Timu, or Temu, Temu. Um, yeah, they comes up in my news feed or whatever, and uh, I didn't take it seriously. And then a friend of mine uh, got us some uh, doggy clothes from there. And then, so I downloaded the app. So uh, we got here, wireless lavalier microphone, two in one, okay? Two in one, so it's two lavalier mics. Like one clips on here, and then another one would maybe clip on Soggy Doggy. Who knows? So watch me unbox this. Okay, so it's, I've unboxed it. So what you're gonna get in this package is one of these, this is gonna plug into your cellular telephone. Uh, this one's made for iPhone, so it's gonna have that jack on it. That's the receiver. And you're gonna get two of these right here. These are the transmitters, okay? So uh, we only paid like 10 bucks for this, okay? Believe it or not. And they actually work. Um, they work quite well as far as uh, distance. Um, now quality, I'm gonna give it about four out of 10 because, you know, like, we all know you get what you pay for. Now the distance, I, I'll show you here in a minute, the uh, distance says 65 feet and it's pretty accurate. Um, if not more, uh, works pretty good. So go ahead and check that out and uh, we'll get right back. Okay, distance test. Let's see. <clears throat> says 65 feet. I don't know if I'm going to go 65 feet. Let's see if this thing's going to work this far. Okay. I'm right here at the toy store. Let's see. Okay. Testing this thing out. <clears throat> what was the name of that song from the band? Cake. Cake. From Sacramento, California, the da 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 da. She's going the distance. I think that's far enough. Okay, so uh, this is the owner's manual. There's no brand on this, by the way, and if there is, it is in Chinese. Okay, China. So here is the owner's manual. One side is Chinese, the other is English. It's pretty straightforward. Plug and play. Use common sense. Don't go swimming with it. Um, pretty cool. So yeah, I dig on this. Um, it only comes with one charger adapter though. So you're on your own with that. But And it, this is proprietary to the phone. I thought it was a USB-C, but it is not a USB-C. It is dedicated to these. 
Also, a cool thing is if you're out and about and your phone is low on its battery, you plug that USB-C into here and you can charge it while your transmitter is, oh, excuse me, receiver is plugged into your phone. So uh, let's move on to the next one here. All right, so the next one here is called Video Making Kit. Now, Karina ordered this. Um, I didn't request it, but it looks cool. It looks cool. Um, no name. Um, but yeah, it looks cool. This is the box right here. Okay. Video Making Kit. Cheap packaging. Just like the other one. Well, like I said, you get what you pay for. Video Making Kit. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. And guess what? It's been unboxed. So this is what you get with this package here. It's pretty darn cool. Okay. Looks cool. You know. And what this does here, before we get into the electronics, it's like a handle. This is a shotgun mic. So they say, remember folks, excuse me. I'm not bragging, but I am an audio professional and I do have an extensive background in microphones. Lavaliers, everything, any, whatever. Yeah. So what this does here is it goes like that, like that. And then you can take this and move it down like that. And it's a tripod, so you can set it on a table and uh, do an interview. Now it looks cool when I take this microphone diaper off here, this is what you get, okay? Now mind you, this is all cheap plastic, okay? So, you know, user beware, but you get what you pay for. I'll say it once, I said it once, I'll say it again. You get what you pay for. So, and it has also, this doesn't all have to be together. You don't have to use this light. So it's all like interchangeable. It does have a light here. Your basic uh, LED light. And it has like how many dimness here. So you have your brightness. I'm not sure how that's gonna go through on the camera. But yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Cheap plastic. However, the microphone, eh, eh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be using this for anything on the YouTube videos, but uh, it's fun. It looks cool. Uh, and this thing also was like 10 bucks on Timu. Now, it's not going to give you the iPhone adapter. It's going to give you, I have it tied up in here, but it's going to give you your eighth inch adapter, okay? Like a headphone jack. So what I have is, uh, now on the iPhones, the, they have this adapter, which has eighth inch female. So you can plug in like headphones or whatever. So I just plug my adapter onto that, um, plug it into the phone, functions just fine. Now sound quality, I'm gonna give this, I don't know, maybe a three out of 10. Um, it's not horrible. You can hear it, but it's just like the microphone on the iPhone. It's in stereo. Um, obviously, all of these microphones I'm talking about here are mono. Mono, not stereo. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, oh, the other thing that sucks about it too is my I got a fat phone. I got a 12 Pro Max, so it's wide. This thing, when it's inside of the, when, when the phone's inside of the case, it doesn't fit right and it has the potential to maybe snap out. So if you are to use this phone or if I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna be hella careful and uh, take the phone out of the case and use it like that. It fits just fine without, it, without the case. But with the case, mm, I don't know. Timu, cheap stuff, but you get what you pay for. Um, specs on this, I don't really believe um, based on how I played with it. I'm gonna put on these glasses here because I can't, I'm blind folks. Ooh, that's bright, son of a... So uh, yeah, it's um, frequency response, 50 Hertz to 16 kilohertz, sensitivity enhancement, plus 20 dB. Sensitivity minus 40, B3 dB decibels. Um, noise level, 24 dB. My glasses are getting fogged up. Maximum sound pressure, 130 dB. I have yet to test that out yet. Um, 
it could be accurate, but yeah, anything more than 130 dB, which is pretty loud. Um, it's probably gonna start cracking <laughs> doing that. You know, channel mono. Uh, geez, that's about it. Who cares about the color? Power five watts. Battery life for two AA batteries. It takes two AA batteries for that life. Um, one and a half hours at 100% power. And it weighs 244 grams. It is pretty cool. No brand name. Um, has a model number. But yeah. Timu. Timo! Ten bucks. Around, give or take a few cents. So both of these electronic products here for doing what some people like to do on their streaming or vlogging channels. Uh, yeah, that's what you get. That's pretty cool. I mean, I, I, I had fun with it, you know, like unboxing it for myself. And uh, yeah, this thing you can't, I have my, the other one I use, it's more tactical. It screws in to hold your phone. The one I normally use, it's very cool. It doesn't have a jack, it doesn't have a spot on the top to fit into this stuff. So that's kind of out of the question. Now we're going to move on to Teeny Weenie's most unfavorite thing to do. Teeny Weenie hates clothes, but we love putting them on her and there's pretty much nothing she can do about it, especially when it's cold out or a little chilly. You know, you got to keep the, got to keep the little skinny soggy doggy warm. Right, honey bunny? Okay, so uh, yeah, so we're gonna go through these and uh, wrap this up. So we got these two, this one here, we start those little pink little vests here. Teeny weeny does not like to wear this, but it's cool. And if it's winter time, it's extra super duper warm. Doggy vest. And then we have another one. Same thing, different color, cool. Zippers work great. Uh, I can't remember where we got these at, but we got them at the same time. Now we have this. Now, I didn't buy this. This is the teeny weeny raincoat. Comes with a little hoodie, and it's cute. Folks, she hates wearing this. I didn't pay for it. We found this, actually. We were walking home from downtown Burlingame because it's like right down the street. And uh, yeah, somebody had just set it aside on a little bench, and uh, yeah. Pretty cool for if you want to keep your soggy doggy dry. And that's real Ranko. Waterproof for soggy doggy. Okay, next, uh, we order this from Temu. We don't need to do a product review on it. But, folks, when you need security, we got security. Teeny Weenie, when she wears this, she's security dog. She works for Bad Dog Security Company. I just made that up. Bad Dog Security Company. Next is Teeny Weenie's Pajamas. These are cute. These are easy for the dog to get out of. So it's like pretty much if I put her in this, it's like, oh, how cute for a little bit. And then she'll go underway, like under the bed or hide somewhere and she'll remove it. Our friend Joe ordered this from Timu. Timo. Timo. Now we have, Karina ordered this from Timu. Teeny's little dress. She hasn't tried it on yet, but we are gonna put it on her on Sunday. Teeny's little Sunday dress. She ought to stop traffic with this one. She usually stops traffic anyway when she's wearing clothes, but yeah. This is cool, and actually the quality of it is not bad. Hence where we ordered it from. Because when you go to this Timu, it's still cool. I'll order more stuff from there in the future, of course. But mostly you're gonna get cheap stuff. Ships rather quickly though. Next is her Halloween costume. Okay, not necessarily Halloween, but fall season. It's nice. Uh, we ordered this one on Amazon. Quality's really good. It's like a, like a velvet type of feeling little thing. She stops traffic in this one. Boy, she looks cute in it. We've had this for a while. Moving on. This one's really nice. My mother, who lives up in the state of Maine, uh, actually, I'm sorry, New Hampshire. That far from Maine though, literally. I'm not telling you where she lives though. I'm not gonna dox my mom. She had this sent to us. This is really nice. 
quality of it's really good. It has a zipper here for the, for the leash to go through. And this kind of wrap, these little things like wrap around her legs and around the back. And uh, yeah, it's fitting. And then you could tie, tighten it around her neck so she can't Harry Houdini herself out of it. Next, we have, and you have seen this before if you've watched my videos, we have Froggy Doggy. Okay, Froggy Doggy. My buddy Joe, she ordered this from us on um, Timo. This is cool. I think it's cute. Uh, yeah, Froggy Doggy. She's worn this a few times. Um, yeah, so the only thing is this kind of hangs around the ground, so you got to tie it up a little bit. But yeah, this is Teeny's little Froggy Doggy hoodie. <laughs> Moving on. We got this last weekend at when we were on Pier 39 and we found the store called uh, Bow Wow something. It's a doggy clothes store. So this is a cute little outfit, one of my favorites. A D dog, kind of like Adidas. It's got the three stripes. A D I D O G. A D dog. She looks real. She looks real sharp in this one. She looks more tough in this one than she does wearing the security one. Now, had it been a security hoodie, she would have been like a tough dog. Bad dog security company. Okay. Moving on. Now, last but not least. Actually, last but least. Karina got this one at oh, Old Navy. Over there. Somewhere in San Mateo. I don't like it because I don't like flaunting rainbows. No, don't trip out. I have friends that swing that way, um, and I'm non-biased, but I don't like it being shoved in people's faces, okay? And, uh, yeah, the few friends that I have that are that way don't do that. They don't play the, what do you call it, uh, however you identify yourself, you know, they don't, they don't play the gender game. And they don't do that. But this one here, I don't really like it, but Karina likes it, so I'm not going to argue with her about it. Teeny doesn't like it because she doesn't like to wear clothes. Ugh. See, when you wear this out in public with your dog, that means you're, you know, you can take it either way. But nowadays, you know, you see the Rambo, what are you going to think? Rambo, G A Y. Rambo, L E Z. You know. But we all know what a Rambo, uh, stands for but i'm not going to go religious on you guys because this channel is not like that so yeah this is cool it's functional it'll keep her warm but i just don't like the colors folks i'm wrapping it up if you stuck around this long thanks for sticking around this long and uh yeah product review imaginary unboxing with soggy doggy right here teeny weeny and uh, folks, I hope you enjoy the rest of the week. And uh, till next time, see you.